Hi everyone, today we're going to be going over the results in the Massachusetts Senate primary, the 1st Congressional District, and the 4th Congressional District today. So, as you can see right now, we've got all of these, uh, all these results, I guess, that have now come in, many, many counties here. But, overall, it is a very clear picture. The incumbents have one ed markey has won 55 44 here over joseph kennedy earlier in the night it did look as though it was going to be about a 20 point advantage it looks like it's going to narrow down there into about a 10 point advantage there for representative markey but if you go down there's a lot of uh there's still a bit of results still to come in most of which uh, most of the results have already come in from the state of Massachusetts. Size of lead here, you can see Markey really running up the score here in the Boston area. You could see he's he's also doing relatively well in Lowell, uh, Worcester County. Uh, Springfield is where Kennedy was able to win uh, in in Springfield, but overall, rural areas seem to go more towards Kennedy. But I guess rural areas were f about split, and then Markey was able to dominate in the Boston and Boston suburbs area. You can see here Boston going to Markey, 77,000 votes to 52, and that's by far the largest county there in that state, in the state of Massachusetts. Markey winning 59-40 over Kennedy in that area. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at some of the county results here, most of the uh, bigger population counties went to Markey. The smaller population counties were more split between Markey and Kennedy. Uh, so yeah, and we've still got some re results to come in from some of these uh, small counties. Uh, Seenook, all of these different places here uh, that are still to come in. So, in the Senate race, Markey, Kennedy. Markey wins Kennedy with an endorsement. Nancy Pelosi endorsed Beto O'Rourke endorsed many folks of many people endorsed but Ed Markey does hang on with the progressive left it's a notching of victory for the Sunrise Movement here who went all in for Markey they went all in there for Ed Markey so it's going to be interesting then that one's a tie Montgomery County that I was just like what's that but that one is a tie but um the Marky Kennedy, Marky notches it out over uh, Joe Kennedy. In the first congressional district here, Richie Neal, Alex Morse, so it's not all good news here for the progressives. Richie Neal has been able to hang on and by a pretty wide margin, I mean 17 points. You could always say, you know, Morse uh, could come back in two years or four years and I think he probably will. But right now, this it's not looking the best in the 1st Congressional District. And uh, I would be incredibly surprised if the mail-in vote was able to swing so heavily in favour of Morse's favour that he could pull off an upset. Uh, New York Times has been calling this one for Richie Neal there. And you can see here in a lot of these, uh, in a lot of these townships, even Holyoke, which was where... Morse is the mayor. Uh, Richie Neal was able to win. I mean, he was able to win a lot of these places pretty handedly. Uh, Morse keeping it close in some of the more rural areas. That's going to be uh, that's normally where the insurgents do better in rural areas because they like to you know go to all the different places. But I mean, Springfield Neal just crushing there in Springfield in. Uh, in Ch Ch <laughs> I don't know how to say that, in Pittsfield, in Holyoke, in Westfield, in East Hampton, most of those are going to Neil, so that's how he was able to notch out that win. Richie Neal, a win for the centrists uh, in the 1st Congressional District. In the 4th Congressional District here, it just changed right there on us, but, uh, but Jake... I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name, but uh, that candidate right now is very narrowly leading over Jesse Murmel. This is kind of progressive. Is progressives have lined up behind Jesse Murmel 
and the centrists have lined up behind uh, behind the purple candidate. Uh, something that could point towards uh, something that could point towards possibly uh, the centrist winning. Firstly, there's so many candidates here. A lot of the progressives split off the vote, and so that paved the way for more centrist candidates to win. But if you look at a lot of these votes that are still to come in, we've still got four more uh, precincts, townships, they call them in Massachusetts, left to come in. And most of these smaller townships have been going to the centrist here. So a lot of the, a lot of the big counties that are going to Murmel uh, are fully reported. And these smaller, these smaller counties could put uh, Jake jake there over the top uh so first and fourth both going looking like both going to the centrist but again this is very close this could go either way uh in the fourth congressional district but it looks like from my analysis it looks like here the centrist candidate at the top will hang on in the fourth congressional district in the first congressional district richie neal wins and in the Senate primary, Ed Markey wins. And you could say like a Senate seat's probably worth about four House seats if you do the math. So uh, overall, Ed Markey taking down a Kennedy, that's probably good enough to call it probably a, a, a relatively good night for progressives. But Markey was expected to win going into the race. So, you know, take what you will from that. But overall, I think, you know, progressives, they did okay with the Markey win. But definitely, I thought that they probably would have come out on top on either this, the first race or the fourth race. I predicted Richie Neal would win and I predicted Markey would win. I didn't do a prediction here for the fourth district. Uh, so... So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. Overall, it's pretty much a wash. Uh, progressives maybe can claim with the, the taking down a Kennedy and how, how important the Senate seat is there for the progressives, Green New Deal. But at the same time, Morse lost and this open primary here, we saw progressives do well in open primaries. But it looks like Jesse Mermel is going to come up slightly short. Uh, in Massachusetts. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.